Hey, hey y'all, it's Casey Hope from Pizzazz. We uh, are gonna show you today how to do a fun, quick and easy little ice cream doodle. Y'all know on Fridays we come at you and show you just fun ways to get creative. Uh, we usually do that at 12 and we did go live today at 12, but we had some technical difficulties. So we are doing this again. This is just fun for all ages. Y'all know here at the studio, we teach um, all ages, kids all the way through adults. And this one is geared for kids, but it's pretty fun for adults too. So I will walk you through it super step by step. So we're going to use just some watercolor paper. I've got a pencil. I've got a black permanent marker. I've got a um, Crayola marker and I've got my Crayola watercolors over here with a cup of water and a paintbrush as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this out of the way and get started. But before I do, let me show you or talk to you kind of how we're going to do this. I think it's easiest to do this from the top down. Okay. So instead of sometimes I think about, you know, you want to draw your, uh, your cone and then put your ice cream almost like you're making it, but that makes it hard to overlap like this. So if we will start at the top with our cherry, then work our way down, there'll be less lines to, um, to erase and we can kind of get this overlap effect a little bit easier. So let's roll with it. All right. So I'm going to grab this pencil. I'm going to start at the top and do a circle. That's going to be my cherry with a little curve. Then I'm going to do that top scoop of ice cream. I'm going to come down, kind of curve it like this. That's going to be kind of that top little scoop. And then I'm going to do three curves. Now you could do more than that, but I'm just going to do one, do it kind of big, two and three. Okay. Go into the next one. I'm going to come down just a little bit because that's going to be that top scoop. And then we're going to go one, two, three, one more time. So one, two, three. We'll do it again. This time, maybe we're not showing so much of that, that top scoop part. We might just see the, the one, two, three kind of peeking out. So right here, one, two, three. And we will do one more just for fun. And one, two, three. Now, you could do as many of these stacks of ice creams as you want to uh, based on how much room you have, okay? So if you've got a long piece of paper, you just keep stacking them up as long as you want to. I'm going to stop right here so that I've got enough room for my cone. I'm going to do a V. So I've got that V. And that's it for the drawing, all right? So I'm going to grab my permanent black marker and get rolling. I'm just outlining everything here. I like this. Um, this is a super Sharpie. It's just a little bit, uh, a thick nib on it. I like it. Remember if you are doing this, this part needs to be with a permanent marker because we're going to be adding in watercolor here in a bit. And you don't, if you're doing this with like a black Crayola marker, um, it's going to, the color is going to bleed. Okay. We love that effect sometimes if it's a, a wash, wash, I should say a washable marker. If it's a washable marker, it will bleed when the water hits it. So you want a permanent marker. All right. So right here, I'm going to do some lines going this way, some lines going this way. And there is my drawing. All right. Next up, I'm just going to start painting and having fun. And what's so fun about just getting creative with things like this is it's fun for kids to use this as a jumping off point for even more creativity. And what I mean by that is as you're painting, you might say, huh, I've never even seen blue ice cream. What kind of ice cream is that? And you can make up your own kind of ice cream. You can make up the names for it. You can make up the colors. They don't have to be real colors that you've seen before. Um, you can just have fun with whatever kind of I, naming the different flavors that don't even exist. You can come up with them and be creative um, and make your own ice cream. You can also um, make a story that goes along with your picture. We've seen a lot of kids do that just naturally. They'll say, you know, they'll na start naming things and talking about things that they're drawing. It's really, it's fun to see the creativity that comes from just the starting point of, of painting and drawing. All right. So I've got my blue. I'm just going to kind of put a little blue on. I want to kind of let it fade just a little bit going to the right. So I'm going to get just plain water 
on that brush. So plain water and then just spread this. I'm going to leave a little area up there white on purpose, just kind of like a little bit of a highlight. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to skip a space just to get a little bit of dry time. I'm going to use this pretty pink that I love so much. This is the, so with the create Crayola set, I'm using this one right down here. Put it on here. And then again, if I want to kind of let it kind of dilute a little bit, I'm going to rinse my brush and kind of let it come on out. Oh, I hear you, Betty. <laughs> Betty says, I'm on a diet and this is making me hungry for ice cream. <laughs> Let this be your ice cream. Just right here. This is it. This is it. Um, it's hard to say no to yummy sweets, isn't it? Hard, hard, hard. All right. There is that. I'm going to pull this a little bit over. Going to come back up into here. Now, this would be cute. I just thought about it as I'm doing this because it kind of looks almost like red, white, and blue. It'd be cute if you just did three and had a little patriotic uh, coming up for 4th of July, a little ice cream set. You can maybe do some like red sprinkles or something. That'd be, that would be cute. I'm not doing that today, but it's a cute little idea. All right. So here we go. Rinsing this out. Going to come in with some yellow. Now with this yellow, I want to be careful not to touch the blue or the pink. Okay. Because pink so wet. Right. Now you could leave it like this, or if you wanted to add a little bit of the orange in there, you could do that too. All right, next up is going to be the green. Are y'all having, is my hand kind of jumping? I feel like, um, I feel like when I'm looking at the screen, the, what I'm doing is kind of being jumpy. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's just my view. All right, next up, it's going to go to the light green. And I'm just picking colors. You can do whatever colors you want to. I am just picking colors here and there. So... Doing me this light green, and then I'll probably pull in some blue to kind of make it an aqua y color here in a second, too. Or you can even do like a dark green, like a, a mint chocolate. Okay, I hear y'all say the sound is jumping and it's lagging a bit. Y'all, that's my. This is my <laughs> Facebook live look today. <laughs> We've already tried this one time at 12. I did the whole live, the whole thing, and it said live up at the top. Except I noticed something was up because it said zero people on the whole time. So I just kept rolling thinking, okay, that's okay if nobody's watching. But it's weird because usually there's at least a few. Um, and then when I got off, it just was nowhere to be found. So I'm not real sure what all is happening. All right. So next up, I'm going to get a little bit of the brown and a little more. It's a little darker than I want. So I'm just going to rinse my brush out. And dilute it. I apologize, y'all. I see, I see Judy saying the video is jumping too. That's what it looked like on my end too. I will play this back. And if it is uh, too hard to understand, <laughs> if it's too like too much, I'll just delete it. And <laughs> we'll try to record another one. We, I'm going to have uh, to stop here in just a bit because it is almost a uh, car pickup line. i got to go pick up the kiddos from school. So I might not be able to record another one right now. But... We can get it later on. Okay, next up, I am. Now, you could totally leave it like this. Um, or if you want to add these swirls in the background, you could grab a marker and do that too. Or do anything in the background. Y'all know we love uh, polka dots, um, stripes, whatever you want. So I'm just going to start swirling. So when I do these swirls, sometimes I think of them as like, like very exaggerated C's or very, very exaggerated backwards C's or super curvy S's. See that? Or super curvy backwards S's. 
or um, let's see, some more little C's, some S's on their side. Okay, so you can just kind of put, you don't have to think of them as S's and C's if you don't want to. Um, but that's one easy way to kind of just, if you feel like I can't do a swirl, sometimes if you will relate it to something that you are familiar with, like a letter, it will help you to feel like you can do it a little bit easier. So we are just throwing all of this in. And just having fun. Add in little fun swirls here and there. If you have empty space and you're not sure like what to do, like let's say you want to add something there, but you don't know if you can fit a whole swirl in, you can just do like little half little curves like that too. So that they don't all have to be complete swirls. They can kind of accent the things that you've already got. So that is our fun, quick little ice cream cone lesson for today. <laughs> so hope you have fun with it. We try to, um, we try just to encourage you to pick up some supplies and do quick little things. And on Fridays at 12, usually here and on the Crayola page, we are here showing you quick, easy little doodles. They're geared for kids, but they're fun for all ages. So, um, so hope you will join us every Friday. Um, and if you want another, we have another really cute whale tutorial. It's a painting over at doodlealong.com. Um, at that website that's where we oftentimes will change out every so often uh just a fun little free tutorial so check out doodlealong.com if you want a painting a uh, a whale painting tutorial and if you do this be sure to either post it here or we would love for you to um to text it to us it is let me see and remember my number uh well we can't find it well I, can't, I do find it but i don't see the banner um but it's one three three four two four nine 1818. I would love for y'all to text me your picture. Um, let me see how it how it is that it's a real text line. It's really me texting back. I get them all and it's just fun. Um, I know some like kids might not have Facebook. They might do this and you might may or may not want to put them on Facebook. If you want to uh, shoot me a text, I would love to see it and be a cheerleader for them because we love seeing all ages just get fun and um, set aside a little time for what we call some peace and play and creativity. All right, y'all. See ya, see ya.